What is going on guys? Hope you guys are having a great day. I know my day is gonna be fantastic. Fishing a brand new spot. Love fishing new areas. Just never know what could be out here. Today we are targeting trout. I would really like to get a lake trout today. Not sure if it'll work out. I've only ever caught one lake trout before. But I am in lake trout country. We are in the woods, we way deep in the mountains of Idaho. Let me show you this spot here. Oh, we got a little, got a little chipmunk playing over here. That's a squirrel, by the way, not a chipmunk. I don't know why I said chipmunk. What's up? There he goes, way up in the tree. Anyway, we're coming to a new fishing spot. Check this out. Right over there, you see this beautiful sliver of the lake. I cannot believe how beautiful this place is. I love it up here. But we come up here. If you guys are members of the channel, you watch the video where I cooked up my trout here. I did not fish here. I just cooked up my trout. So if you guys want to become members, consider pressing that join button down below. Look at this right here. Now this looks good right along here, but you know what, that point right there. Let's see if we can get to that point. Oh look, a little trail right through here. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> look at this spot guys. Oh man, this is perfect. I can do a, I can cook out here. Let's check the water, nice and clear, as expected. Looks like a good, a good deep spot, which was what I want for lake trout. Guys, this is this is perfect. This is one of those spots where since it's a little bit of a hike to get to it, not a lot of people will come down here and disturb me, and that's what I want. When I come up in the mountains, I really dislike fishing around other people. First order of business is, of course, to tie a line on, and what I have for that, it's a big night crawl. I'm using a whole night crawler, guys. It's overkill for trout to use a whole night crawler, but I want a big one moving around down there so it attracts a lot of attention and add the ultimate attention. I wanna I want to see if there are any fish in here since I've never fished this spot before. And if I put on a great big worm and this like salmon egg sack right there, then that pretty much, like if there's a trout in the area, they'll smell it. Uh, if you guys watched the previous video, if you are members of the channel, then you know um, that I got these salmon egg, like salmon clusters, and so I've been experimenting around with those. I, uh, I have yet to catch a trout on them, though. I only caught a sucker fish. So, anyway, let's see. Let's get this out on the bottom. So the next order of business is to gather some wood for a fire. This piece looks good. Oh, yeah. That's almost all you need right there. And we are going to make some breakfast this morning of bacon and eggs. So we have some nice crispy bacon. Well, it's not crispy yet. It's raw. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to get it crispy though. What? Look at this. Though. Look at how fatty it is. I did get the cheapest brand from Walmart, which is fine that it's fatty because I'm actually going to cook up the eggs and the bacon fat and we want lots of fat in the bottom when we're done. Uh, so anyway, it should work out perfect. Oh, that sizzling sound. Is that not a beautiful thing? Boy, guys, there are few things better than having sizzling bacon while you're out on a lake fishing like this. The smell, the sound. Now we come to the payoff. Oh, crispy bacon. I just like saying bacon. I think the word sounds beautiful. And then <laughs> look at that obscene amount of oil to cook the eggs in. So the amount of oil in there was actually so ridiculous that I poured some of it out. I actually forgot a spatula, but that's no problem. That the so much oil from the bacon is keeping the eggs from sticking to the pan. I'm actually going to throw the bacon right on there at the scrambled eggs. And voila, we got breakfast. Mm. 
the crispy crunch. Bacon's good when it does this. Mmm. Mmm. The eggs. The eggs could use a bit of salt. I thought that the bacon grease might be salty enough, but nay nay. Still have not gotten a bite on the fishing line. I'm keeping a pretty good eye on it. I'll have to break out some lures after breakfast. Break out some lures to see if we can get a trout on a spinner or a spoon or something like that. Well, after a delicious breakfast, check that out. I've got this little Everett lure, little spoon there, rainbow trout color. Let's uh, whip this thing around. The wind has come up a little bit and uh, we might have a storm brewing right over there. We'll see though. We may have to take shelter somewhere. Maybe find a cave. That would be cool, like find a cave or something. But we're gonna fish for now. Guys, we are packing it in. No fish here, but that's fine. That just means we have to explore new places. This spot looks interesting. Just pulled over along the side of the road. This looks good. I'm just gonna be using worms till I locate fish. Then I can try with lures and stuff. Right now, I gotta, I gotta get something going. Guys, I also just saw a fish, literally a trout. It, it just like did a complete breach out of the water. This might be the ticket right here. Guys, getting them by. Got one, got one. First fish of the day. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's been a while. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got a nice fish, guys. We got a nice fish here. What do we got? It's a trout. Oh, it's a rainbow trout. A, a nice one, too. Oh, yes. I've got a six pound test line. This guy's giving up a good fight. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a good one. It is a good one. Let's see, let me bring him over here. Yes! Guys, look at that! Oh my goodness! Whoa! Wait, settle down! Settle down! A wild... Oh man, guys, a wild trout. Wild rainbow. Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, I just knocked him out with a rock. We're gonna bleed him since this is a little bit bigger one. I want to bleed them. I never bleed my small ones. I just don't think it's necessary. But this is a good size one. I'm just gonna cut it in the gills there. Let all that blood drip out so it doesn't ruin the meat. I'm gonna measure this trout just for fun. From there, just a hair over 17 inches. <laughs> Guys, a storm is coming, so we're gonna have to wait. It should pass by pretty fast. There's been a lot of little th storms moving through, but this thing, there's a lot of rain coming. I can't have my cameras out in the rain, so we're gonna pack it up, and we're gonna find a nice little place to cook lunch. All right, so I've taken refuge in some trees here. It's not as windy right along here. So I'm just come down, lots of big pine trees. Well, these are make great rain blockers through some branches yeah look they even come down like little umbrellas it's like an umbrella like underneath these what is this look huh wonder either somebody or something or an animal did that I think that's that looks like tools or something that would do unless that's like a woodpecker or something does anybody know what would have caused that is that, is that like a woodpecker I don't know Hmm. Anyway, we got a nice little spot right in the trees here. And look, we have a view. This is the river that we're right by the lake still, but this is the river that runs into the lake. We could even fish right here. In fact, check this out, man. This looks real nice. <laughs> check it. Out of the rain, out of the wind, right by a new body of water. All these places I've been to today, guys, I have not been to before. So this is this is so much fun just exploring new spots. <sighs> Aha! Uh -huh. Just what I thought. Look how pink that meat is, guys. I knew this, this trout's gonna taste so good. Just gonna do a simple gut on this guy, cut off the head, 
pull out the guts. Oh, this is nice. Oh, man, I could, I could almost just take a nap under these trees. Anyway, we got the catcher cooks set up, all set up. Let me show you guys what we got here. Take a look. We've got the pan. I'm not gonna build a fire because of the fire hazard around here. And we've got our little propane thing. We have the stove underneath there. Links to all this in the description. We have salt and something special, which I'll show you guys more detail to say. The wooded beardsman wadobo seasoning. We also have potato, onion, and corn. I don't know if I'll eat all three, we'll see. Butter, of course. I have the butter and the pièce de la résistance is the trout guys it does not get any pinker or fresher than that this is going to be like eating a salmon got some butter rolling i'm just going to put some small potato slices in there we're going to add some on, oops, oh, there's an onion in the dirt, dang it. I'm gonna add some onion to this thing. I figured I better put some vegetables in my diet. I'm just kinda eating meat all the time. It's basically trout and chili, that's my diet. Whoa, I almost flipped it off the pan. Trout and chili though, thought I'd mix it up for once. Speaking of eating healthy, I'm just gonna put some more butter right on top there. Then we will salt them. Then we'll add some rosemary to it and some minced garlic. Guys, you gotta try this stuff yourself. It is so much fun. So the potatoes and the onions aren't quite finished. So I'm going to add the small piece of trout now, the smaller piece. Because the trout will cook the fastest. And it can cook in all those good flavors. Then I have here the Wooded Beardsman Spices uh, Fowler. What is it, Mike, Mike Fowler? Sent this to me in the mail, thank you so much. Guys, I think we're gonna do a collaboration, Wooded Beardsman, me, and him, sometime this summer. We both have really busy schedules, but anyway, he gave me these seeds, this is his personal seasoning, I'll put a link to it in the description, but uh, we're gonna try this. If you guys are familiar with the channel, you've already seen it before. Time to split the pink trout. So look, see how it's cooked halfway? After that's cooked half, it's not perfect. Trying to flip. Oh, and it's coming apart. Oh, guys, this is gonna be so delicious. We'll add some more of the wadobo seasoning to this stuff. Oh. oh, man, oh man. If I could tell you guys how this smells, I would. You know what? Be a fool not to say a prayer after this blessed day. Yeah, I'm gonna start off with a potato brown, golden brown. Mm. Mm. Onion. Now the trout. I got this new fork, and I hate it. Look how small that thing is. I should have looked at that more closely. Guys, pink, pink trout. Wild trout. Mmm. Delicious. Scrumptious. And nutritious. See? I'm eating my vegetables. Alright, I wasn't going to do this, but... I, I got to. Guys, this is the second half of the trout. Golden brown skin, pink. The potatoes are cooking perfectly. You, you guys have to try this stuff yourself. You just got to. Well guys, only one fish on the entire day. Really slow day. I think it was because a cold front moved in yesterday. Maybe that's killed the fishing, but you know what? I am perfectly content. Just so much, so much fun being out here. And when you have a view, like this, I mean, just doesn't get any better. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next adventure.